In this problem, we have to evaluate the limit as h approaches zero of this expression here. So there are two ways to do this. So let me show you two different ways. So solution one. Solution one is to recall that the derivative of a function at a is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of f of a plus h minus f of a over h. Now normally you use x, but I wanted to use a here because I want to match it with this. So if you think about our limit here in this problem and the definition of the derivative, f of a is equal to sine of a. So this is actually the derivative of sine. So you think, what's the derivative of sine? Well, cosine. So this is equal to the cosine of a. That's the answer, cosine a. So this is just uh, how to write the derivative of sine using you know, the, the actual limit definition of the derivative. The other way to do it is to actually work it out. So we're basically showing that the derivative of sine is cosine in this problem. We're basically proving that the derivative of sine is cosine when we do it this way. So let's do it. So we have the limit as h approaches 0 of the sine of a plus h minus the sine of a all over h. And so there's a trig identity um, that we can use. So this is the limit as h approaches 0. And the way I memorize this one is you just basically alternate the sine and the cosine. So sine of a plus h will be sine a cosine h plus cosine a sine h minus sine a all over h. Okay? So you just alternate them. Sine, cosine, cosine, sine. See? Sine, cosine, cosine, sine. And what happens here? Let's see. So it looks like we can simplify this a little bit more. This is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. Uh, let's break this up. Uh, so we can write this as, let's, let's pull out a sine from, from these. Let's combine these, rather. So sine a cosine h minus 1 over h. So that's taking this and this and pulling out the sine of a. Okay, so we'll have cosine h minus 1. And then plus, then we'll take this one here, cosine a sine h over h. And these are special limits. Uh, this limit here is equal to 0. It's a special limit from calculus. So this is sine of a times 0 plus cosine a. And this limit here is equal to 1. It's a special limit from calculus. So times 1. So we just get the cosine of a. Obviously, this is a lot more work. And I kind of rushed through that. It's a little bit sloppy. But uh, it does work. And a little bit easier way would be to just note, hey, this is the definition of the derivative. Uh, and we're applying it to the sine function. So the derivative of sine is cosine. We're done. I hope this video has been helpful.